We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. pontoon plane carrying Flip Corkin, Burma, and Elata back to the Assam airfield. Flip is running a high fever and suffering from shock. Back on the river, Terry, Pat, and the skipper stand in their boat, watching as the plane fades out of sight. The pilot said he would come back and pick them up, but it's a long way to the Assam field, and plenty of things can happen in this Jap-infested land. So stand by for today's exciting adventure in the Far East. Here comes Quaker with a bang, bang, ra da bang, bang. Quaker puff rice sparkies, the rice that's shot from guns. The family's favorite breakfast, the rice that's shot from guns. Quaker puff rice sparkies, no ration points to tell. The easy step to extra pep, and the boy that tastes as swell. Yes, here comes Quaker with a bang, bang, ra da bang, bang. Well, how's the old gang shebang today? Everyone bon ton and bright? Then tell me, if your uncle's sister is not your aunt, what relation is she to you? Why, your mother, of course. And I'll bet your mother's plenty busy these days, doing her wartime marketing, what with food shortages, rationing and all. But there's no scarcity of good old Quaker puff wheat sparkies or Quaker puff rice sparkies. Everyone in this gang can have a sparky breakfast every blessed morning. These grand delicious cereals are shot from guns. The wheat's a treat, the rice is nice. Glorify them if you like with applesauce, prunes, or sprinkle with brown sugar for a caramelly taste. Take it direct from an old sparky cruncher. They're the nuts. Yep, you'll go for that swelligant nut-like flavor. So fall in, my hearties, to a breakfast that's got what it takes to help everyone stay on the beam. These two tip top cereals have restored whole grain amounts of vitamin B1, niacin, and iron. Cereal so restored is in one of the groups of seven basic foods Uncle Sam wants us all to eat every day to keep strong. I repeat, they're not ration. Buy them both together. Eat the rice one day, wheat the next. Look for them in the big red and blue Quaker package. Well, gang, the time comes when the best of friends must part. Sometimes for a little while, sometimes for a long while. That's what Burma and Elata may be thinking in the seaplane on their way to the Assam Road. The pilot told Terry, Pat, and the skipper that he had come back and picked them up as soon as he got flipped to the hospital. Burma and Elata are in the crowded cabin of the seaplane now. Flip, stretched on the floor, is still asleep. Burma looks out of the window and says, All I can see down there is jungle. Miles of it. Boy, they sure planted a lot of trees in this part of the world. But soon we will be seeing the little artificial lake near the Assam Road. The pilot told me. Yeah, well, it can't be too soon for me. As long as we're in a plane with pontoons, I'll settle for a lake. Even an artificial lake. Well, we're not being together so much longer, Burma. 
Yeah, I guess not. Here today and bang, bang tomorrow or later. Golly, it seems to me that lately I've done everything in this war but my job as a nurse. Mm, but it's so good you are a nurse. You have made Mr. Flip to be sleeping. So now he's not talking so unhappy and out of his head. Yeah, but a nice clean bed and a nice cool hospital is what Corkin needs. The pilot has already radioed the field. They will have help ready for him down by the lake. Look, Flip's got his eyes open. And how long has this been going on, fella? Uh, uh, Shh, you better not try to talk. Gee, he looks so feverish. Yeah, and I'll be a lot happier when we can get this guy to where there's a good medical. I will ask the pilot to make more speed. Where are we? You're on your way to the hospital, Flippo. You're going to have nice, cool claws on your head in just a little while. Where are they? I can hear their motors, but I can't see them. Now, take it easy, chum. Steady now. Okay, I'll wipe off your face. Sun. Sun's in my eyes. That's why I can't see them. They're between me and the sun. Come on, down out of there, you lousy Nazis. Come on, I'll blast you out now, of the sky. Quiet, Flippo, quiet. Huh? Hey, later, take a look, no, will you? Isn't there any sign of that lake yet? No. No, there is nothing. Only the jungle. Huh. Who are you? Now, listen, Mr. Corkin, you've got to get How'd you get in this plane? A woman on my plane. Oh, well, that's a fine thing. Don't you even know your old friend, Burma? You don't belong here. This is a fighter. Who's that other girl there? This is a flock of Nazis up top, and I'm going up to get them. Easy now, boy. Now, you uh, take it easy. Burma! There's the lake. Where? Yes! There it is. I see it shining down there. Oh, boy. Okay, Colonel Corkin, we're going to have you in a nice, cool bed in a jiffy. You're going to be where it's quiet and where you can sleep, boy. In a couple of days, you're going to be up and raring to go again. While the seaplane continues on the last few miles to the Assam Road, let's turn back to a boat on the river. The sun is dropping below the horizon as Pat and Terry watch the big fire on island number three burn itself out. Uh, I'll bet you can see that smoke from miles, Pat. <laughs> island number three burned to a crisp and island two blasted flat. <laughs> Our job's finished here, Terry. Uh, if it wasn't for Flip, I'd be riding high. Golly, the sun's getting awful low. Uh, I wonder if that pontoon plane's going to make it back here tonight. I don't know. There's a moon like last night. You might find us. But even then. I don't think the skipper wants to go with us. <laughs> He's scared stiff of riding in a plane. <laughs> Funny thing about him. He'd take on a whole mess of Japs single-handed. But a ride in a plane? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dad, a better plane ride would cure him of laughing in the wrong spots. But, but we can't leave him here alone. Or can we? It'll be up to him, Terry. There's little food left. Most of our ammunition's gone. Oh, well, let's stop worrying. Skipper's having himself asleep down in the cabin. That's more than you and I... Hey, listen. Uh... Is that a plane? Yeah. Hey, maybe they got two seaplanes at us on. The pilot radioed ahead to the field and told him to come out here and get us. Look, there he is. Hey, Pat, that's no seaplane. You're telling me that's a Jap scout plane. I'll haul up the anchor. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, we'll head for shore. That baby sees us. We're cooked. Check the machine gun, Terry. I don't have to, Pat. The gun's okay, but we're just about fresh out of ammunition. Well, the plane's going away. He's heading north up the river. Golly, Pat. Huh. Whew, we got a break. He didn't see us. Maybe not. We'll go in there shore and wait just the same. Maybe just playing possum and come back with a surprise package. Guess the Jap plane didn't see us at that. I hope not. If he reported our location to any Jap troops around here, we'd have had trouble before this. Yeah. It's kind of quiet on the river for a change. Somehow, I don't like the feeling. That seaplane will never even try to find us on a night like this. Last night, when we didn't want a moon, we had one. Tonight, when we could use a little moonlight, there, there isn't, isn't any. any. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Terry. Huh? 
Look up the shore there. That Jap plane did spot us. Now the heels have a boat out looking for us. They've been drifting with a current so we couldn't hear them. I'll handle the machine gun. That light's raking this shore like a fine-toothed comb. Wonder what kind of a boat they got. No matter what it is, you can bet it's faster than this tub. It can't be more than a couple of hundred yards off now. They're swinging that light over this way. Why don't we let them have it, Matt? Here, here. You stand by the machine gun. I'll handle the rifle. Don't fire until I give the word. We want to save ammunition. They've spotted us. They've picked us out. That light's bright enough to blind you. Don't fire yet. Lay low. Here they come. Golly, Pat. Steady, fella. The minute I open up with the rifle, smack them with a the machine gun. Okay, here we go. Pat, you knocked their lights out. Bullseye. Give, give them over there. Hold it. They're running away. I'll give them one more blast. No, 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 no. Wait, Terry. Save those cartridges. Too dark to see where we're shooting. I have a hunch they'll be back here at dawn. Okay, Terry. It's getting light. Let's pull up and move out into the river where the seaplane can see us. Hey, Pat. Yeah? Right there on the shore. Look, a Jap patrol. They sneak down through the woods. Hit the deck, Skipper. Stay down. Get us out of here, Terry. I'll handle the machine gun. Yo, Skipper, grab the Tommy gun. Let the Japs have everything. Okay, head straight out, Terry. Don't go downstream too far. They're trying to get us with grenades. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't die, Snipples. You gotta know your baseball to handle those things. Ah, the Japs don't shoot so good before breakfast, Pat. No, but they get around in fast motorboats. Look up the river there. Holy mackerel! Swing upstream at them, Terry. The boat's too fast for us. We'll take them head on. Hold our fire till the last minute and then make a count. We'll make this short and sweet. Pat! Skipper, there's the seaplane. It's come back for us. Yeah, man, I see it. The Japs in the boat are coming too, Terry, and the Japs are shooting. Hey, what's wrong with the motor? They must have hit the engine. She's gone dead. Stay down, Skipper. Wave your shirt, Terry. Wave anything. Let that plane know we're not Japs. I am waving, but the other boat's coming. They're getting too close. Uh, this boat's leaking like everything. We'll have to swim for shore. Pick us up. That's the answer to everything. He's coming for us. Come on, Skipper. We're leaving this cup before it leaves us. No, no, don't shake your head. This place is too hot for comfort. Hiya, pilot. You look mighty good behind those goggles. What's the chance of a ride to a little breakfast at the outside road? We're 300 gents. Well, gang, I'll say this much. That seaplane got there like the Marines, in the nick of time. So Pat and Terry and the skipper are off for the Assam field, huh? Well, there's a surprise coming up for them when they arrive. And I'll tell you more about that in a moment. So stand by. Quaker puff rice sparkies, the rice that's shot from guns. Here comes Quaker with a bang, bang. Say, gang, how's about a two-fisted breakfast these cool mornings? Something super delicious. Listen, it's Quaker puffed wheat sparkies or Quaker puffed rice sparkies put into a hot oven for a jiffy. Just a jiffy. Oh, boy, is that a splendacious repast. Those big, fat grains of wheat and rice shot from guns are even tastier, crisper, toastier when they're warmed a little. Or, if you like, shake them direct from the package to your bowl. They're ready cooked ready to regale you with a richness of flavor and nourishment. A breakfast for everyone, from high-voltage toddlers to husky swing shifters. Quaker puffed wheat sparkies and Quaker puffed rice sparkies are not rationed. Buy them in the big red and blue Quaker package. 
Now, here's today's victogram. Here's to gallant General Clark, who landed in Naples, but not for a lark. His orders are to aim and shoot the Nazi foes in Italy's boot. Tomorrow's a big day for Terry and Pat and the others. A big day in more ways than one. In the first place, the boys have done a great job and should be rewarded. But unless I miss my guess, their reward will be another adventure. So get on the beam. See for yourself what's cooking. Tomorrow, same time, same station. This is the Blue Network. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.